Is everybody watched the Justice League Snyder Cut yet? Oh, I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched it. Yo, the bank said uh, it was a good review. Oh yeah. my god. Come I gotta on, watch it. G Buddy, you gotta keep it, bro. Gotta keep it. Uh, no, no. Yeah. It, I mean, it's it's pretty much the same movie, it's just different. It's just it's directly different. Um that movie was fantastic, bro. Like I I unlike coming to America too. Um mm-hmm. They did this movie right. They did this movie some justice. Um, Coming to America too. I voice I voice that this, that movie sucked in my opinion. Um, but you know, I, I realized that me as a person, my opinions aren't always the same as everybody else's, and that's what I just love about me because I'm going to say what I want to say, and it's either going to be respected or not. <laughs> well, look, not let me ask you something. It. Let me ask you something. As far as movies, just movies in particular, DC has not historically been great with movies well, so wait, you're telling me that go ahead well wait I, i'm sorry to cut you off so early in, in your top in your, in your in your stance but the last few dc comic movies have been pretty good when you think about uh when you think about uh uh the first wonder woman um, yeah wonder, that was good wonder one or two suck um, yeah, when sucked. you think about uh, uh shazam shazam was great uh when you think about aquaman that was a good movie. So they got it right three consecutive films up into the most recent release with Wonder Woman, which I don't know. I don't even know what the direction they were trying to go with the Wonder Woman movie. And then they, you know, did Snyder Cut. So, I mean, they 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 got something. They have it with this Snyder Cut movie. They have a direction. That's what I think. Okay. They got a direction now. They feel like they know where they're going now. So. That's good because uh, Batman versus Superman was trash, and the yeah. Justice League movie before the Snyder Cut was trash too. Right. And I didn't like Shazam. Shazam was corny to me. I didn't like. Yeah, it. I, I, I didn't. I didn't like Shazam either. I fell asleep watching that movie. Y'all the first movie. ever heard say that. Mm. It was too. It was too kitty as far as like the I theme. Mean, that's Shazam. But uh, that's, my that's thing true. is like the theme of DC as far as what Zack Snyder was pushing for was a dark theme. And then for you to have a light character as Shazam, the cheesiness of the movie, it just did not go well for what was it going on. It kept it real to the comics because that's how Shazam is in the comics. He's very, he's a child. He's a kid. He's a child. He's super a kid, so I get it. But I just didn't like it. Like it just, it didn't hit me. You know, like now to G Money, I will say this about the movie. I honestly think it's a totally different movie compared to what they came out in 2017. And I say that because. There was a lot of a lot of plot holes in that 2017 version where the average DC fan couldn't comprehend. And I I, I would probably say I'm borderline geek and average fan in within that particular area. If you, borderline? If you, I'm borderline. I'm borderline. Okay. So I'm like typical fan, geek. You know what I'm saying? Like right there, like in between. No, nah, well, me is geek. Yeah, and me too. But not so much yeah, for DC, more for Marvel. Yeah. I, I'm a fan of all of it. I want all of them to be prosperous, bro. Personally, so because what oh, I love ahead. about it is, is the fact that the DC, the Snyder Cut, is the direction that all DC films should be. Because, like I was telling somebody recently, majority of all the DC. The lore of their comics, if you actually pay attention, they have a very dark background to it. Um, yeah. And they kind of kept it. Now, what made the Snyder Cut was so different is the fact that they kept it dark. Especially when you come from, when you think about the movie, the Joker movie, and how dark that was. And then now it's mm. like, to me, you kind of expect all the DC films moving forward to show, besides Wonder Woman and all that stuff. You yeah, but see, that that's dark. the thing. The Batman movies have always, most, most of the time, been great. It's just the other properties, like Green Lantern sucked. Yeah. I didn't like the Superman movie with the guy with the airplane. I forgot his name. The one in the, in the mid two thousands. Remember with um, Kevin Spacey played played um, Lex Ooh, Luthor. Boy. That that movie was trash. Terrible. Yeah. That's I that didn't even trash. watch yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, that was yeah. So that was garbage. Yeah. So I've always been a fan of Batman more than than DC. But now Batman's I'm trying my favorite to favorite hero. Period. That's, yes. Yeah. 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 Now. As far as like moving forward, I can see I can see what they were tr- what Zack Snyder was trying to do as far as the image, as far as pushing the, the the next movies out. Now it's going to be interesting what they decide to do moving forward because all these guys decided to opt out of their contracts. Uh, didn't Jason Momoa, Aquaman, he hopped opted out of his contract? 
Ben Affleck opted out. Now you got the dude from Twilight. He playing Batman. Henry Cavill. He ha- he uh, opted out. They, what well, I could have sworn they was in discussion of bringing on. They're trying to bring Mike, him back. Michael right. B. Jordan as Superman at one point in time. So yeah. I, don't, I don't know where where they're going with that. They ain't but, trying to have no Chocolate Man and Titans in a movie, man. Come on now. <laughs> they ain't trying to. But see, that's different. the difference between between uh, Warner Brothers and Disney. Disney, they pretty much have their characters locked up, and everybody has a contract. And it just seems like they're more, like people are more willing to work with Marvel than to work with DC because they know. have That's vision. Just, they have vision. Yeah. Right. DC, it just seems like it's 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 so crazy to me how DC has has been making movies longer than Marvel has, mm-hmm. and they don't have it together. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, you, like a while, it's, it's, it's just like being in a bad relationship, bro. Sometimes you can stay committed to something for so long until it's, you know you realize, oh man, this is not where it's going. Um, but I'm, like I can say the direction that they're headed right now in terms of the film itself. I mean, I like what we have. Hopefully, they can, you know, they're actually talking about bringing Zack Snyder back on some, some of the uh, future films. I know for sure more than anything, they owe us another Green Lantern. Like, yeah. Know, Point yeah. blank period. They they gotta yeah. they gotta give us a Green Lantern and and with Hall Hell Jordan the Black Green Lantern. I want him as a, right. as a Green Lantern. So, I mean yeah. whatever. I mean they could you know because uh, I don't think Ryan Reynolds did bad as a Green Lantern. It's just the movie sucked. Like the movie, I ain't even watched that movie probably. to be honest. But <laughs> no, they, it was they terrible. owe us a Green Lantern and they owe us a a, a, a Robin movie. Uh, a, they have to give us something like the origin of Robin. Like how you know what I mean? They have to do that. Like it, it can't always be about Batman. They what, about about be Batman Beyond? what about what about Batman Beyond? What about Batman Beyond? No, nah, I don't want no Batman. I don't want no more Batman films. I want them to start focusing on, on the additional characters. I want them to start doing something with Nightwing like, or, or Robin. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Something Teen Titans. Actually, you know, it, and then we can get kind of back into Batman, but we need to give we need to give Robin some love because Robin actually has an interesting story too. If you follow it, like he has a pretty like I'm all the over first Batman, one, bro. Like, the first one, Dick Grayson, right? I, okay. I know a lot about, and I feel like they should bring back the kill. Like you know, they brought in like they kind of make the Killing Joke kind of like a live film. Yeah, I mean, but, that would I mean, be awesome. It would be bro. hard though because you can't. That movie was great in terms of animation, so if you gotta, you know. It's hard going from animation to to real life, especially right. killing babies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This killing joke yeah. was boy, that was awesome. Nah, 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 for the bay. Nah, nah, for the bay. Nah, we don't care what you say. Nah, for the bay. Nah, 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 for the bay. Nah, nah, for the bay. Nah, we don't care what you say. Nah, for the bay. Fire.